551 right now. Welcome back. News 13's Live Well Expo is this Saturday. And in addition to all the great food, great speakers, and all that advice on staying healthy, there's also going to be a few fun presentations for the entire family. And joining us to talk about one of them is Lauren Pyle from the WNC Nature Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, tell me what you guys are going to be doing at the expo. Well, we'll be bringing a couple of animals and presenting them throughout the day and just showing people the kind of animals they might get to see while they're outside. Outside working, getting healthy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, who'd you bring today? Uh, I brought our one of our box turtles today. So this is one of our eastern box turtles that we have. And so this is our male turtle. So He's very awake this morning. He is. He is, so he's quite alert. Look at his eyes. Yeah, the red color is actually an indicator that he is indeed a male with box turtles. So it's one of the unique things about these turtles. So if he were a female, he might actually have brown eyes. Okay, and appropriately oh. so, you've named him Red. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so what does this guy do out of the wild that actually helps us? Does he eat certain insects, creatures, and things? These guys are pretty opportunistic. They'll eat a lot of different things. So they'll eat uh, all sorts of insects. They'll eat earthworms. They'll eat berries. They'll eat fruits, uh, other plant material. So they'll even eat toxic mushrooms. Uh, so they're, they're pretty oh, okay. open to eating a lot of different things. And uh, they're a really neat reptile for our area. I mean, they're our state reptile, right. which is really great. And, um, and he'll get pretty big, right? And this is uh, pretty close to full size. Oh, really? So, yeah. And how do folks know, I know this sounds kind of like a, a stupid question, but we've got snapping turtles in our area too. And you always want to be real careful, especially if you're on a trail or something and you come across them. What are the differences that we can know that we can pick up, you know, and handle a box turtle? Well, certainly. Um, box turtles are actually our only land turtle that we have here in North Carolina. And um, some pretty big clues is they have uh, completely different feet than okay. the uh snapping turtles and other aquatic turtles. So they've got those long toenails. And you know these are feet that are made for walking. They're not made for swimming. So they're not quite as paddle shaped okay. as um, a lot of the other aquatic turtles. And the, you know their face, they do have that, a little, that similar sort of shape in the front. But you know if you're gonna see a snapping turtle, it's probably gonna be a lot bigger. And um, the unique thing about box turtles is generally when you see them in the wild, if you come up close to them, uh, many of them are gonna go inside their shell. Uh, that's why they're called box turtles. Okay. They can go all the way inside and protect themselves. The snapping turtle may have a different reaction. Yeah, just a bit. So, <laughs> okay, right, makes sense. And can you have these as pets? Um, they really don't make good pets, okay. um, partly because they're very long lived, and they have a homing instinct. And so, if you take a box turtle out of the wild, keep it as a pet, say for 20 years, and then put it back, it's going to try to go back to where it was born. It's going to try oh, to go wow. back to its home range. Oh. Okay. And makes so, sense. you know, it's a pet that very much so could outlive you. These guys can be up to 100. Wow. Okay. So go check out the box turtle. Do not have one as your own pet at the Live Well Expo. It is, of course, this Saturday. We've got all that information at WLOS.com. Thank you. Yes, you're thank you welcome. very much. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Time right now, 649 on your Tuesday morning. News 13's Live Well Expo is this Saturday. And in addition to all the great food, speakers, and advice, of course, on staying healthy, there will also be a few fun presentations for the entire family. And joining us to talk about one of them is Lauren Pyle from the WNC Nature Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell me about this guy. So this is our one of our eastern box turtles, and um, it's our male, and his name's Red. Because of the eyes. Yes. Um, so in actually in eastern box turtles, that's one of the clues that he is male. So if he were female, he might actually have brown eyes. Okay, and we were talking in the break about how to tell how old they are. You said they can live to be 100? Yep, they can. So, and the way you can tell is they have uh, individual sections on their shell. It's called a scoot, and you can count the rings on that scoot like you can count a tree ring. Although, when they get really old, it's sometimes hard to count them as they kind of wear down. But So, this guy's what, 15, 20 years old? Probably somewhere in there. Okay. Okay. Tell us, Lauren, also what you guys will be doing at the Live Well Expo this weekend. Certainly. Well, we will be bringing uh, a couple of animals to help introduce people to what they might see if they're out in the woods. So answer questions that people have and also just to get to know your neighbors that way. And, of course, part of being healthy is getting out. It's walking, hiking, running. But there's some animals you can stumble upon outside that you really need to steer clear of. Right. There are. So, um Fortunately, that most of them, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But many of the animals that people might think are dangerous um, might not be. So, so many people sometimes have hesitations about box turtles or black rat well, snakes. Well, and you were talking earlier about, is it a snapping turtle? Right. You know, you know that some of those are here. So, we were fixing some of the uh, myths there that, you know, these guys are going to be on land mm -hmm. only. And a snapping realize. turtle, if you approached it, it might actually snap at you, if you will. 
Yeah, generally, although if they're in the water, they're just going to swim away and hope you don't notice them. So most of the time, they'll just try to avoid you. But if you approach this guy? Uh, if you approach a box turtle, generally, if you're getting really close to it, many of them will go in, inside their shells. That's why they're named box turtles. So they go all the way inside and close the bottom of their shell up. Except Red, he's super sociable this morning. <laughs> he, he is. is. No. He's having so. so much fun. And he's one that you uh, show to the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we take him to visit schools, to uh, meet kids on field trips. So he gets to meet a lot of people every year. He's He's pretty friendly. Will he be there on Saturday? Uh, yes. All right. So if you at home want to go and meet Little Red there with his really bright eyes, that's crazy. Of course, be sure to head out to the Live Well Looks Expo. Looks like he was up too long. <laughs> Late night for Red. <laughs> he needs a visine. He does. <laughs> I tell you what, though, he is great with people. He, he really has learned a lot from him. Lauren, thank you again. All the Live Well Expo information, of course, at WLOS.com. You can find all of us out there on Saturday. Julie, Jay, myself will all be out there. So uh, come see us.